In the previous tutorial we deconstructed UDK map templates. In this tutorial we are going to set up a custom map template so when we choose new map it will show up as a choice in this menu. So first let's open up one of these maps. Let's modify some properties so we can have something different. So I'm going to open up night and I'm just going to go through and modify a few properties in world properties dominant directional light and fog so to quickly go in let's uh, first let's go into the fog and let's go into show modify properties and let's just uh, change a few colors here so I'm just randomly choosing some values to modify so it's different than what we had before so let's modify our fog density let's bump it up to maybe 0.2 so it's thick let's modify fog height fall off let's uh, let's change this to 1 let's change it to 1024 for start distance and let's change light in scattering brightness to let's turn it down to 0.2 so it's a little darker so now let's jump in into dominant directional light and let's turn down the brightness to maybe 1 actually maybe 0.5 indirect lighted scale turn down to 1 now let's turn off render light shafts and let's jump into world properties and let's modify a few values here now scroll down Let's uh, change the environment color. This is the shadow color in the scene. So let's change it to something a lot darker. And also let's modify our light map. Uh, right now we see sharp shadows. And uh, let's modify this to something lower value. You can see override light maps resolution if we change it to 256. And uh, we build our lights. It should give us a little more fuzzier shadows and that's so sharp. So we modified the view properties, we changed it enough to where it looks different. And let's just build our scene. And here we are. Let's turn this off. Let's uh, get rid of our builder brush. So here we modified the scene enough to where it looks different than before. Uh, again, this is just an example. Uh, so we don't have the same scene to save as a template. So you can go and modify uh, and tweak the properties to exactly how you like them. So now that we have a different scene and we want to use this as a template. So what we need to do is we need to save this first. To save this we need to go file, save as. Now the folder that we want to save our map to is inside engine, content, maps, templates. So if I open up the directory, go to engine, content, maps, templates. Here we have our four templates that come standard with UDK. Now depending on the version of the editor you use, uh, I think in June or July uh, this directory is different. So if you go into UDK game, content, maps, I believe that in the earlier versions of UDK this is where the templates map were. Now regardless of the version you use, you want to make sure that you save your template map inside the folder that comes standard and already created along with the template maps that Epic provides. So that's the key. You want to place your map right in here where the other four templates are. And here we are. We're back at the Save As screen. So if I go and change Save As Type to All Files, we'll see our four maps here. So the name of the map, I'm going to name mine as Custom Template. And the extension has to be UMAP. That's the key that you want to save your templates as UMAP and not as a .udk. So once we named our map with a proper extension as .umap, let's save it. And if we jump into the templates map, we can see here we have a custom template UMAP. Next, we want to go into the content browser. And under packages, you want to search for map template index. So I'm going to type in map. So here we have are four screenshots for the template maps that come with UDK and then we have four files that, that are called template map metadata and we are going to create our own. So right click on the empty space in between these meta templates and we want to go under new 
template map metadata. We have the new screen pop-up. We want to make sure that the package is map template index and name we want to name this as the name of the map that we just saved without the extension and everything else is fine as is. Click OK. So here we have our custom template that's the name of the map file right here and let's go back and let's save our map template index right click and save next we need a custom screenshot so let's close our content browser let's take a screenshot inside UDK for our map so I'm going to press the G key to go into game mode so we get rid of all actors so we can't see them and I'm just going to position it somewhere where we can kind of get a better sense of the world something like this is fine and I'm just going to hit print screen now since this is going to be a preview screenshot you don't need to go and take a high resolution screenshot a screen grab of the view in the perspective view inside UDK should be fine so here now inside Photoshop we need to create a, a preview thumbnail so we can import it into UDK and use that as a preview thumbnail so I'm going to go file new I'm going to control V and paste our print screen that we took inside UDK and here we are so I'm going to resize this to 256 by 256 so I'm just going to crop it use a regular standard crop position it to so we can understand what it is so we can get a better sense of the image this is going to be our thumbnail preview here we are 256 by 256 so now I'm going to save it as a target file I'm going to use the drop down menu select target and I'm going to name this as custom template preview and I'm going to save it inside a temporary directory where I can just quickly locate when I have to import it into UDK I'm just going to click save and I'm going to choose as a 24-bit pixel so now we have our preview screenshot and back inside UDK let's go back to the content browser and here we want to import our preview thumbnail so right click import and I'm going to navigate into the folder where the screenshot was saved and I'm just going to select it import it package map template index name custom template preview we can just get rid of preview use as custom template and everything else should be left at default and click OK so here is our screenshot so what we're going to do now is find our custom template map metadata double click and we're going to use this input for thumbnail first we are going to select it inside the content browser make sure our preview thumbnail is selected go back to the properties for the custom template and click on this green arrow that says use selected object in the content browser once we've done that I'm going to right click on the package and save it now I'm going to close UDK and relaunch so here I relaunched UDK now if we go to new map and we can see that our screenshot shown up but there is an error there is one final step that we need to do so let's close this and let's close UDK once again what we need to do is we need to open up a text file inside UDK and add an extra line of text that will call upon our map to show up properly uh, in the display text box so let's go into the installation folder and the folder we want to go into again is the engine localization folder INT now there is the same type of folder inside UDK game directory here you can see it here and you'll find the same text file that we need in here as well but the key is we need to go inside the engine folder in the same folder where we have our content map templates and our custom template inside here so we need to be inside the engine folder so let's go back to localization making sure that we're inside engine localization int and we need to open up editor map templates open this up with notepad and here we need to add an extra line and you can see that these are the display names that you see when you launch UDK and choose your map so I'm going to input custom template this is the name of the map without the extension and then the custom text display so I'm going to type in night lighting custom and just save it 
and let's launch UDK again. Here we are and if I go to new map we have our night lighting custom as a thumbnail and it shows up properly and if we click on this it should launch our custom template. And here we are.